Hello student, let us start our chapter inside our earth. It is the second part of the chapter in the one first part we already done the structure of the earth in which we cleared crust, mantle and poured the three layers inside the earth. So today before starting the chapter, in the next topic let us clear this diagram. As you can see here this is a, a part of our earth. This part, many times the word continental crust comes. This part is called the continental crust. Crusts are of two types. So this one is the continental crust which is under the continents. This is a continent. So under the continent is the continental crust. On other hand, as we done it that 35 km is the total depth of this. On other hand, this one, that is 5 km under the sea is the oceanic currents. So the this is ocean and crust are I think clear. The next one is the rocks and minerals. The earth crust is made up of various types of rocks. Any natural mass of mineral matter that makes up of earth crust is called a rock. Rock can be different in color, size or in their texture also. Different, different, in different, different rocks, different, different minerals are found. These rocks are made up of, or we can say that they are uh, natural substances which have a certain physical, physical and chemical properties or compositions they have. If you see the rocks, then the first rock is. It means rocks as you can see here in this volcanic picture also this is a lava or in this picture also when this magma comes out as you can see here comes out and then float on earth like here in this picture this one is called become a, and later on after cooling down become hard this is known as a igneous rock now we can divide igneous rocks into two parts. The first one is the intrusive igneous rocks, and the second one is the extrusive igneous rocks. Again, see this diagram. When magma is like coming here, but without coming outside, it becomes hard here only. Or like here the magma part become hard without coming outside this one is known as sorry extrusive igneous rocks on other hand when magma comes out and like here in this picture like a lava float lava on earth surface and later on cool downs this and become a hard rock this hard rock is known as I had done a mistake, please clear it better. Extrusive means outside. So that is why this one is known as extrusive. When lava comes out, exit from the cone and this is known as the extrusive lava. On other hand, when without coming outside and the magma cools down and that rock which is inside the earth is known as intrusive. The main main points of this are that it is known as a primary rock made up of lava we can say the magma. Let us revise it. Inside our earth ka jo second part hai, is we will do topic hai hamara, rocks and minerals. Rocks and minerals ko start karne se pehle, ek baar ye diagrams ma lete hai. Ye earth ka jo hai surface hai, ye wala part continent hai aur ye ocean hai. तो कॉन्टिनेंट के नीचे जो पार्ट है यानी कि 35 किलोमीटर नीचे तक जैसे कि हमने पिछले पार्ट में पढ़ा था ये 35 किलोमीटर नीचे तक का जो पार्ट है ये जो है ये कॉन्टिनेंटल क्रस्ट कहते हैं ये कॉन्टिनेंट के नीचे वाला क्रस्ट इज अ कॉन्टिनेंटल क्रस्ट जो कि लगभग 35 किलोमीटर तक इसकी डेप्थ होती है ओशन के नीचे वाला पार्ट जो होता है वो ओशनिक क्रस्ट हो गया और इसकी गहराई ज्यादा ज्यादा 5 किलोमीटर तक पाई जाती है वेराइज करता है अलग ओशन में ये रॉक्स रॉक्स नेचुरल मिलने वाला एक सब्सटेंस है इसकी अपने आप में 
एक अलग ही फिजिकल और अपने आप में एक अलग केमिकल कंपोजिशन रखता है हर एक रॉक का अलग कलर होता है साइज होता है और अपने आप में अलग तरह का टेक्सचर बना के रखता है तीन तरह के रॉक्स पाए जाते हैं इसमें सबसे पहला रॉक जो है वो इग्नेस रॉक्स है इग्नेस रॉक्स क्योंकि ये पहला रॉक है इसलिए इसको हम लोग प्राइमरी रॉक भी कहते हैं ये बेसिकली बना होता है लावा और मैगमा से इसके दो पार्ट है इंट्रेसिव एंड एक्सट्रेसिव इंट्रेसिव मतलब अंदर एक्सट्रेसिव मतलब बाहर तो ये हम लोग इसके थ्रू समझ सकते हैं डायग्राम के थ्रू ये मैगमा जो बाहर आ रहा है बोलते हैं इरप्शन से तो जब मैगमा बाहर आके लावा बन जाता है और बाहर आके लावा ठंडा होकर रॉक बनता है जैसे कि हम लोग इस पिक्चर में भी देख रहे हैं तो ये रॉक जो था इसको हम लोग इग्नेस रॉक्स कहते हैं क्योंकि ये बाहर आके ठंडा होके रॉक बना है तो इसको हम लोग एक्सट्रेसिव इग्नेस रॉक्स कहेंगे और कई बार मैगमा बाहर निकलने से पहले ही अंदर ठंडा हो जाता है और ठोस रूप ले लेता है उसे हम लोग कहते हैं इंट्रेसिव इग्नेस रॉक्स हम लोग जो है सेकेंड पार्ट में जाते हैं डेट इज द sedimentary rocks as you can see here in this picture also when layers of sediments deposits one by one on earth now because of the pressure and the temperature this these all sediments takes a hard form and become a rock this rock is known as the sedimentary rocks these rocks are found just after the igneous rocks as you can see here a lot of layers you can see here layers of different different time periods so these are known as the sedimentary rocks and different different sediments are deposits on it in the past if we take the example then here like limestone change into marble you can see here a picture of taj mahal made up of marble so it is a sedimentary rock they change their forms because of the Not only marble is also marbles are sedimentary also and metamorphic also. The other rocks are like many hard rocks. These are useful for making house, roads, etc. Let us come to the next or the third rock, and this third type of rock is known as the metamorphic rocks. Igneous rocks is there, then sedimentary rocks, and then comes the metamorphic rocks. In the third stage, when because of the temperature and pressure, the sedimentary rocks and many times the igneous rocks change their texture, they change their forms. This one is known as the metamorphic rocks. This is an example of marble uh, metamorphic rocks because of the high temperature and pressure, the lime stone change its forms, become hard. And become a marble. The other examples are slate, gneiss, quartzites, etc. Are also the metamorphic rocks. So this is how we see three different types of rocks found on Earth. Any kind of clearance you want related to these three types of rocks, you can comment to me. I hope this one is clear. Thank you. And in the next part, we will do the rocks and minerals means the rock cycle.